Good morning and welcome to week number 20 for the Marathon Training Plan 2020 and today is the kickoff of the final week. We are doing run number 96, <sighs> doing some sprints. I think we're doing 400 by 5 or 5 by 400 or 4 by 400, somewhere there. Um, I'll put it up on screen but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk to you about this is the week. This is this is everything we've been working for. This week is the big one. It is... Ah, oh, we're there. Um, I'm kind of stuck between feeling super excited but also like, okay, this, we're doing this. <laughs> uh, so this week we will be focusing on uh, race week routine and game plan that's that's what I'll be chatting to you about last week we spoke a bit about you know what I was focusing in for taper and obviously this week is part of that and one of the areas which we didn't really get into the detail was game plan and I'm going to talk to you about that this week just helping you understand what I'm going through in terms of making sure I'm prepped and prepared and ready to do this thing on Sunday <sighs> the other thing to consider is also uh, <laughs> You know what I'm doing to make sure that I've got everything ready to go everything is of no problem um, and that I'm mentally ready you know I'm fueled I'm hydrated and feeling comfortable and all that jazz all right so we'll, we'll tap into that today just doing some sprints should be light and easy these are the shoes I'm wearing today uh, my speed shoes and obviously I'm also uh, listening to music for the speed run so that is that I'm excited to get started and I can see a really big moth over here. This is incredible. That's weird. I could see it flapping in the corner of my eye and it was <laughs> freaking me out. Over the last week, I have been thinking about, you know, what is the game plan and what am I going to be doing and all that jazz. So we'll, we'll tap into that a bit after this. Let's get into it. Let's do it. <sighs> Sprints, baby. Sprints. Number one, not too bad. Whew. Number two, not too bad. Number three, Whew. one more to go. Not too bad. <sighs> Number four, done. <sighs> Time for a cool down. What's popping? All right. Whew. Sprints done and dusted, and it wasn't too bad. Uh, definitely, um, I'm, I'm between. I want to make sure I'm not doing anything stupid, but I'm very excited. So, like, I've got a spring in my step, and I guess juggling the two experiences of don't do anything stupid or don't overdo it versus yeah, we're gonna do this. We're almost there. It's. Uh, <laughs> It is a fine juggling act. And I think that's one of the important things to realize is that I've come this far and I should be happy. I should be, uh, <laughs> I should be smiling. I should be proud and I should be, you know, celebrating in the, in the joy of I'm about to do something. And obviously I haven't got the result yet because I haven't done it, but I think regardless of the outcome, and I say this now, <laughs> is I've done I've done an amazing job through this 20 weeks, so let's see what happens, but yeah, I'm, I'm super proud. Uh, and I think you can probably tell that from the smile on my face. All right, let's get into the stats and then we'll have a quick chat. All right, now before I look at it, I've definitely done pretty good. I reckon probably a 435, 436 pace. I was cruising, but it could be 440, around there somewhere. I've done all right. Let's have a look. 2K, all right, let's jump over to the Garmin. Get through 2K, 114, that's pretty light. It's very light. Let's have a look at this. Oh, 426. Okay, there you go. 436, 428, 412, 427. Solid stuff. Solid stuff. Getting eaten by mozzie. Let's jump over here. 
first one good, second good. Yet yeah, they're all look. The third one was a bit. I mean, the fourth one was a bit all over the place, and that's because I had to go up a hill. But heart rate wise, it's cruising. Cadence pretty solid. Elevation. Yeah. I'm happy with that. I'm yeah. Can't complain. All right. <laughs> I'll take it. So there you go. That's um. Run number 96, done and dusted. Pretty solid effort, actually. I feel good. I feel strong. Um, a bit tight in the calves, but I've been stretching them all this week. Now, the, the number one thing that I want to focus on, well, sorry, not the number one thing. One of the things that I'm focusing on this week is, is planning in advance, right? So I have a bit of a game plan, and I'm going to reveal, re be revealing this as we progress through the week. But one thing I have to be mindful of is my game plan I have a couple of different versions of it depending on what the weather's going to be. Now at the moment it is saying it's going to be, I don't know if you can see this, just rather than doing putting my screen share up, but Sunday is going to be 40% rain, 16 degrees. Sunday is the marathon. <laughs> So one thing that I need to be mindful of, and I'll quickly touch on it, is because I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff down in those, <clears throat> in that repeat area. If it's been raining a lot, it's going to be super muddy there. So I need to be super mindful because if I'm spending a lot of time there, which could be anything between two and two and a half hours, it might get a little choppy or a little sloppy or sticky, a whole lot of things. So that I'm just trying to be mindful of. But I have been doing a bit of game planning uh, I will be excited to reveal to you guys, probably do it tomorrow, just taking you through some of the thinking, some of the stuff that I've been doing, and then we'll touch a bit more on it on Thursday, and then uh, Saturday, I don't actually have a planned run, but I will be doing a pre-race Judas run, just part of my ritual routine, and I think that's something that I've always, always done, is some of the routines and rituals that I have been doing, and number one is... <laughs> I think just getting into it, right? Now, I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I've acknowledged that I've come so far, I've done as much as I can. This week's just about having fun. And I think once you acknowledge that, during this week, it helps take a bit of the pressure off. Um, in the past, and I could, look, this is still the start of the week. We'll see how we go. But usually in the past, how I do is I start to, you know, double overthink everything and start questioning stuff by the end of the week. So trying to start the week strong and thinking no 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 this is good we're all good we're all good and just remember that we've done this before and and it's it's no different to any other run right we just got to get out do our best game plan and boom that's all I got to do and some of the other rituals I do as I as I said we'll have the pre-race jitters run I'll do one 2k on on Saturday just up to the bluff and back just to relax and just clear the head and then I'll probably also do a few things through the week. I will be carb loading. Um, I'm going to be having pizza on Friday night. Exactly the same situation of what I did for the 30K. Um, just to, I felt like that's worked really well. Um, obviously hydrating this week, keeping the fluids up, keeping the stretching, trying to do some additional walking and mobility just to keep things fresh. But number one ritual for today is that mentality game is checking myself. And I'll have to probably do this for the next each day for the next coming days. Just recheck myself. All right, so that is that. Um, I do apologize if I'm all a bit rushed and all over the place. I'm just, to be honest, I'm a bit excited and I haven't necessarily thought through everything that I wanted to share with you guys, but as it comes to me, I think I'll be able to share it a bit easier. So of course, if you have questions and whatnot, do let me know, put it in comments below. Um, jump down into the timestamps, have a look around, there's a buffet of information for everyone. Uh, I think you're able to jump through and see the different things that I'm doing this week as basically race week and yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscription button. If uh, you've been here for a while but you haven't hit that bell, you know what to do. And I do appreciate all the support for all you guys and girls that have been following along the journey. I wouldn't be here without you. So it's all this encouragement, all the support that has been super crucial. So I really do appreciate it. <sighs> all right, well, that's it for me. I'm gonna go have a smoothie, have some breakfast, 
and I will see you when I'm looking at you. Ciao. Good morning and welcome to run number 97 for the Marathon Training Plan 2020 and today we are doing an endurance. We're doing 6.5k, uh, just a light and easy, one nice loop. Uh, should be pretty good. These are the shoes I'm wearing today, trail running shoes. We'll be getting out hopefully onto the beach and uh, we'll be listening to Sid Arthur. That audiobook's almost finished so we will be getting into that too. Now, oh, it's a beautiful morning, it's seven o'clock. It's nice and calm, it's peaceful, it's sunny, it's, it's a nice spring morning and I just hope it's gonna be like this on Sunday. At the moment, it's probably not looking to be that way but we'll, we'll get into that afterwards. Today we will be jumping a bit more onto some of the game plan. Today we'll be talking a bit more around <clears throat> what's what's the approach or what's the routine. Sorry. Today we'll be talking not necessarily around the approach, but more around the track, the course, the route that I'll be taking, um, and why I've decided to do that. There is going to be a little room for wriggling, just because of obviously weather conditions. But we will get into that once I get back from this run. So that is that. Um, been tossing and turning in sleep. However, water and hydration is going well. Um, I'm not feeling too bad in terms of feeling tired. I've been trying to go to bed a little bit earlier just because if I haven't been sleeping well, I, I make up for it. So, let's see, let's see. Otherwise, I think I'm okay. Tomorrow we have a power outage, which means I won't have to work for half the day, uh, means probably get some much needed downtime just pre pre race and uh, then obviously we've got Friday Saturday and then the big day whew, on Sunday all right well <laughs> let's uh let's get into this let's go Point five k done and dusted and ah oh, the emotions the emotions are high it's uh just I guess this is kind of like the final the final run which is going to be as close as possible to race day in terms of just getting out route the way I want it to go and it just makes me quite emotional just because we're so close and look it's gonna be a beast on on sunday it's it's gonna be a tough one <laughs> i'm both excited for one getting it done excited for the challenge uh, i'm nervous for the <laughs> for the outcome um there's a lot of a lot of emotion <laughs> it's uh it's gonna be whew, it's gonna be a beast and um, What's, what's interesting is I know I can do it and because I've done it before it's more around you know how how well will I do it and it's also knowing that come Sunday I'm gonna have to have a, a nice long battle with myself a big chat and dig deep and it's that mental cave and it's yeah it's a lot it's a lot to just whew, <laughs> All right, let's get into the stats. It was pretty good, um, pretty cruisy. I mean, I, I didn't really have any intent other than just to run. I, I didn't realize that my book was going to finish so quick as it did, and I so I was listening to some tunes for the last whew, for the last 15 minutes or so. So that was that was nice. Um, 
that's it, Arthur. The book, it's as I when I started it, it was a little different and to the normal books I would listen to. But you know, it, it's about a man in his journey and he's trying to find you know his purpose and find himself and peace. And it goes through a journey of events, and there's a lot of realizations in there that sometimes on the journey, you know, we're so stuck on a goal that we forget to realize that we've actually found what we were looking for but we're so fixated on this mindset of a goal that you can never find peace so it was an interesting book and we'll get into that probably probably get into that maybe we'll get into it this week or I might do it post marathon and just share a bit more on that but we'll see let's get into stats and uh, we'll chat a bit more all right there we go 6.5k averaging 616 beautiful pace Nice heart rate, 154. Look at that solid getting straight up there. A few bumps. Look, this is this was a great, great run. Uh, not going to complain at all. Look at that, beautiful. Have a quick look at this. Nice heart rate, pretty solid cadence, solid. When I put the music on, is one of turned it up a bit. Let's have a look at performance condition. This is... Eh. Look at this guy. Jeeps. Yeah, I don't know. Look, I mean, this was a solid run. Uh, definitely up to the pace in the second half. Let's have a look at this. If we have a look. Yeah, 625, 653, 614, 625, 549, 601, 551. So, very, very solid work. <laughs> easy done, easy do. This is this is what I like to see. I am a little stiff in my um, right leg, right. I mean, my left leg calf, but I, I think it's just yeah, nothing to be too concerned by. <sighs> All right. So I wanted to share with you guys what's what's the plan around how I in, envision spending the four and a half hours out there, or four hours and twenty five minutes. But you know, one thing which has been very clear to me during this running <laughs> running plan and journey is the different challenges it's, it's it's had to you know i've had to deal with which has been one the one hour exercise limit outside and then having to do a lot of those repeats down in, in the in, in the in the side um side road to my property and then the then it moved up to a two hour limit right and i think with this this has become a huge part and it's I've come accustomed to training in that kind of condition and I even said it in one of my videos that you know if I was to go run out on this actual race track like the actual course track I would probably be in a bit of a weird situation because I would be out of out of sorts so after much conversation thinking planning and debating <laughs> um, this is the game plan in terms of the route and how I spend the time. We'll get into a bit more of strategy that will come tomorrow, but in terms of route, what we are going to do is we're going to spend the full two hours, full two hours out here doing the loops first, whether it's going to be um, four, well, sorry, a full two hours will mean that's probably around just shy of half marathon. That should get me to 20k, give or take. All right, so whether it's going to be four, four loops of 5k or five loops of 4k, whatever it is, that will get me a full two hours. And then I plan to spend my final two and a half, two and a bit, running back and forth over here. That's the plan. So then I end up doing 20k out here and then 22, 22k out there, which is exactly, uh, it's not exactly how much I wanted to do but it's almost similar to what I had to do when I did the my 30k. I did an hour of 9.5 out and then I had to do the remainder 21 in here. So I've done it before, I think I'll do it again. And I think the mentality is that because there will be smaller loops, I can smash them out quicker. And I'm getting through that mentality of, okay, one loop's done, two loops done, three loops done. And they're 400 meter sprints, right? So. It's still going to be about, probably end up being, yeah, a good 50 loops again. But it's a countdown. 
what I have actually found is these longer loops are the, the things that drive me nuts because you you can't see the achievement quick enough and that's part of the mental mental strategy as well which is getting into a bit of tomorrow's topic and tomorrow's topic is I'm going to break it down and how I intend to break down the actual structure of the run in terms of what I'll be doing how I'll be doing it when I plan to throttle the one thing I want to be very clear here is I don't want to overthink this and I don't want to think that I have to follow a plan I'm going to go with it on the fly as well but I'm going to put some guidelines and principles in place where I would like to you know kind of you know uh, direct myself it's kind of like every time I've come out one of these runs I said the intent is today to do this the throttle for the final 10k and things like that that's what I want to focus on and keep it like that because if I I feel like if I have too much of a of a, a set plan if the plan doesn't start going to plan I'm gonna start freaking out <laughs> so I need to be a little loose a little loose so that's it we're gonna do two hours outside under the restrictions and then we'll do the final two and a half within property doing loops the laps or whatever you want to call it repeats so that's that's the intent tomorrow we will touch on uh, breakdown of that strategy what that looks like how I intend to do it and then I think what we will touch on on Saturday will be as I do my pre-race jitters it's just a bit of a reflection and you know just to look back on how far we've come what we've achieved I mean I know I've done the running but you guys have helped me achieve it just by supporting so that's that's the plan for the rest of the week so with that in mind make sure you jump down into the timestamps have a look around if there's something there you want to see um, buffet of information this video will probably be a little shorter I think this week just because it doesn't have the marathon in it that will come post this video as well so that will be separate to week 20 all right wow yep jump into the timestamps have a look around if you haven't subscribed make sure you do hit that notification bell as well you know what to do and uh, I will see you in a couple of seconds tomorrow we will be doing sprints so I'll see you when I'm looking at you ciao good morning and welcome to run number 98 for the marathon training plan 2020 and today we are doing the final sprint session the final speed session we are doing 5 by 200 meters at 509 pace and should be a quick one not just because it's a speedy run but I mean it's it's 5 by 200 meters we will do 45 second break in between uh, yeah, it should be should be pretty good it's uh, this is it's it's still all kind of just like whoa this is this is it we're we're almost done I mean it's this run then there'll be a quick you know uh, pre-race jitters on Saturday and then we're doing it it's it's bizarre it's just wow how far we've come it's been a journey what a journey anyway uh, these are the shoes I'm wearing today speed shoes you have to and uh, still got the tag on them actually 880 V9s and won't be listening to an audiobook obviously listening to music uh, so we will get to that and and today we will be chatting around what is the actual strategy what is the plan looking like of what I plan to do on race day it is a little loose just because you know I do want to make sure I adapt and go with how I'm feeling on the day but just to give you a bit of a guideline of what that will look like so we'll get into that after the sprints uh, yeah it's pretty warm actually it's already about 18 degrees uh, a bit warmer and the weather though for the for the race day is still looking a little iffy Sunday raining 14 degrees hmm we will see we will see could be worse could be worse but uh, eh, it is what it is it is what it is all right let's get this set up let's get this happening yeah number one not too bad Two, let's go. Number three. That's four. Number five.
Wowza. Feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling strong. That was a quick one. Five by 200 meters done and dusted. I think we've only been out there for about, geez, it's probably, probably only like six minutes. Just a quick, a quick little fella. Jeepers. Oh, feel good. <laughs> it was a good session. I think I've done probably around a four. 426, 430 pace maybe. Uh, yeah, somewhere around there. Whew, it's warm. It's actually 20 degrees. It is warm. It's just thick, humid. It's not sunny. I mean, there's a bit of sun, but <laughs> All right, I'm kind of in a bit of a weird trance mentality at the moment just because emotions are high, excitement's high, nerves are buzzing, and it's it's all happening, it is all happening. That was the last uh, sprint session, boys and girls. Oh, just, you know, while I'm doing these runs, I've been reflecting and just thinking about how far we've come. And I'll talk a bit about this a bit more on, on Saturday when I do the pre-race jitters. Just a bit of a reflection. But I tell ya, it's, what a journey and still have a few a few more crucial days just before it of rest and relaxation and just doing everything right luckily today we're gonna have a power outage so I'm gonna be not working for half the day which means I can kind of kick back just relax a bit and should be good should be good Ooh. all right let's uh let's get into the stats have a look see how we've gone and uh we'll get into it let's have a look of course, here comes the, uh, the garbage truck. We are going to jump straight over to the Garmin and have a look around. All right, jump over here, refresh it. There we go. Let's have a look at this. 4.30, called it. <laughs> nice. So 4.42, 4.20, 4.19, 4.37, 4.26. Not too bad, not too bad. Pretty solid, pretty solid. And if we have a look at that, wow. Best pace was 331, I think it was. Heart rate, we've done, done all right. Something weird happens there on, yeah, okay. I don't know what's going on there. It's all a bit weird. But cadence, yeah. Last one was a bit iffy because I had to cross the road and I had to make sure there was obviously no, uh, <laughs> no cars. Okay, it's all right. 331 best pace, cheapest. It's crazy. All right. Well, that was easy. Uh, okay, so let's let's quickly talk about this this strategy for for race day. And if anything changes, I'll let you know. But essentially, you know, we've been training. I think one of the the positive outcomes of this entire training series. Um, due to COVID has been that I started taking up more audiobooks. So that has become an essential piece of my training, um, especially on the long run. And, you know, some of the other things that I've been working on is, you know, then leveraging some of the music to, to get me motivated and then obviously digging deep as well. So there's the three areas which I need to keep continue to focus on and really put that into practice for, for race day. So what I want to do is I've picked out a book I'll be listening to and don't tell me, don't ask me why, I just, that was just the reason I picked it, but, well actually now there is probably a bit of a thing to it. I'm going to be listening to The Alchemist, I've never, never read it before, never listened to it before, so I'll be listening to that and it's, you know, about a journey of someone and on an adventure, so I figured it's fitting for a marathon. <laughs> um, it's meant to be a really good book. Now, that book goes for four hours at normal speed. What I can do is, I usually listen at a 1.5 speed, which gets us to... A certain amount of minutes now what I want to, and I haven't said this out yet but what I want to do is three chunks and I'll put it up on screen is the first chunk is going to be audiobook and that needs to at least be for the first two hours but likely I'm going to do the speed up of that so it's sitting at around two hours to three hours worth of, of listening and that way I get a good chunk out of it it distracts me a bit from the running and it's done and dusted and then after that chunk it's then listening to music and this is where it gets a bit interesting because 
I need to be careful with this as well because the music I don't want to throttle too early but I don't want to throttle too late so what I'll be focusing on is doing audiobook nice steady pace music starting to up the pace up a bit and then the third part of this will be throttling and the timing wise I need to just get down a little bit better but it will also depend on how I'm going for the first first parts for the first parts I want to be averaging around a 630 pace all right and then I want to move to a, a 620 615 pace and then for the final throttle which will probably be the final 10k I want to give 10k so that way I can do some big big spurts and then some smaller spurts but essentially yeah it's probably going to be around the last 10k or hour or so that I'll be doing around that six pace and that should get us to where we need to be at around a 614 pace as an average and I've got it all up on screen you can have a look I could tweak this a little bit I'm still just getting it figured out and once again these are guidelines I don't want to you know like oh if I'm not hitting this I'm gonna start panicking or I want to just say well I want to run feeling good not putting the pressure on me but for the first you know good two and a half hours the next hour will be you know a bit more of a up pace just with the music and in the final hour it's throttle time now the reason why I'm doing it this way is because last year I I did it the other way I throttled too fast at the start and obviously it, it created problems and I wasn't able to keep up so 630 620 and then six give or take that's, that's the plan let me know your thoughts if you have questions by the time you're looking at this I would have already done the marathon so to be honest <laughs> you know I am keen to know what, what you would have done but yeah that's that's just the reality of it all right so that's that we are so close and I might touch on this a little bit more on Saturday when I do the final pre-race jitters run because uh, that might just just in case anything's changed and the weather and all those things so yeah it's all coming full circle now it's uh when i'm talking about it it's making me a little nervous because i don't really want to lock anything in but that is the game plan you know into those three chunks of i guess uh mental blocks the first one being audiobook music and then throttling that's that's the intent so yeah we're so close all right well that's it from me for today make sure you jump down into the timestamps have a look around a few different things here for everyone i mean this week's mainly focusing on what i'm doing for the actual game plan of the marathon so jump around have a look around we're so close join me in the next part of this video in a bit of reflection a pre-race students rat run and we'll you know kind of go, do a trip down memory lane and just mm, get excited all right thanks for being here i'm gonna go have some breakfast before the power goes off and i will see you when i'm looking at you Ciao. Good morning and welcome to run number 99 for the Marathon Training Plan 2020 and today it is the last hoorah, it is the final one. We are, this actually, this run actually doesn't even exist on the plan. We're doing just a pre-race a pre-race jitters, jog, run, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically I just probably do K and a half, 2K just to keep the legs fresh. Just want to get out. I usually do this every time before my my race day just get out do a quick little run jog make sure everything's feeling good just to uh get the emotions <laughs> intact get the mentality intact and just to feel good so to be honest I, I don't even know what pace i'll be doing but just just to feel good kind of it's like a almost like a pre-victory uh pre-victory lap or something it's it's just yeah it's just a ritual that i've always done so that is what we're doing today i'm going to take you down to wherever, whether, wherever I'm going to run to, we'll have a quick chat, reflect a little bit of how far we've come and, and whatnot, and then we're going to come back, we'll finalise all the game plan, take you through all that jazz, and then I will we'll also give you a quick little recap on, on Sid Arthur, the book, the audio book that I uh, listened to, and uh, then it's a wrap, and then tomorrow's the big day. It's currently raining, as you can probably tell, it's meant to be alright tomorrow, it's still looking to be sunny about 15 degrees but it should be sunny so <laughs> let's hope it's not a wet one uh, so it should be all right 
wearing the trail running shoes today, obviously because it's raining. Get out, there's probably a bit of mud and whatnot, so just be mindful of that. We'll just listen to some music just to just to cruise. Just uh, get all those emotional vibes happening. So let's get on out there. Let's make this happen. Thank you so much for coming along for this journey. It's wow. What a journey. All right, it's starting to rain, so let's go. Ah, gonna get a wet bottom. Ah, here we are. This is just... This is just crazy. It's it's hard to fathom. I mean, I've done this all before. It's just 20 weeks. What a journey with I, I don't have words to be honest. I'm super excited and look, I actually I wrote down a few things that I wanted to share just because I knew it's all it's all just crazy stuff. So from doing all this, I think you know, there's a couple of things I wanted to kind of share and, you know, the distance that we've done and um, the journey. So, you know, before doing even this pre-race jitters run, we've done roughly 823 kilometers. You know, coming up here, you feel all the different, you know, I can feel some, I don't even know what you call them, just everything just feels tight, but it's also just because of a bit of nerves, right? So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling mentally prepared. I'm ready to just get it out, get out and get it done. Um, so today I'll just be focusing on resting, um, hydrating, fueling, um, and I'll be doing some, you know, maintenance in terms of rolling and whatnot. So, in terms of how I'm feeling, it's it's exactly that. I just want to get out. I just want to get it done. Right. And having now realised that I've done 823 kilometres, right, which is as I said, about 300 more than what I did for the last one. This this helps set that mentality of like, well, I've done, I've done the hard work. I just got to go do the, you know, the last hoorah, and we will do it. We will get there. It's just we got to get that. We got to get that 425, if not better. Um, so I'm feeling good. I'm feeling okay. It's uh, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> All right, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back, we'll get into our usual stuff. We will talk about, I'll break down for you a little bit more of the entire game plan, and then um, we'll do a bit more other things as well, a few other things, but look, this is how I'm feeling. This is all part of the game plan. This is part of the ritual, um, and just come out, you know, usually I would be hoping that it's a nice sunny day, get the drone out, kind of do one of those nice cine cinematography kind of starts, and. <laughs> I, di I didn't want to. I didn't want to try and over overdo it and just overkill it either. So, figured get out, do this nice little run, have a quick chat with you guys, and uh, just kind of keep calm as well. So, <laughs> all right, let's get back to it. We have actually, it's pretty good. I don't have to work this weekend. So, mm. all right, let's go. Whew. All right, here comes the emotions. Ah. Come on. Let's go, 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 come on. There we go. Pre race jitters done and dusted helping get all those emotions out and oh there'll be plenty of them tomorrow don't you worry don't you worry all right we'll have a look at the stats of this in a second but it doesn't really matter ah uh, it was just a cruisy cruisy run feeling okay there's a few things that i'm feeling at the moment which i'm just like it's just everything me just overreacting and stuff so you know, a bit tight a bit here a bit there but I'll stretch everything out anyway, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. Whew. It's a lot to take in. What I'm going to quickly show you is uh, what we did is we mowed out where I'll be doing the uh, the sprints tomorrow. And I mean, not the sprints, the, uh, the repeats. And we'll talk about that shortly. But while I'm out here, let me give you a gander. So as you can see, 
we've done a bit of mowing here and then because it's been wet as you can see it's very wet hopefully it dries up for tomorrow but I've got this little track here which should be pretty good should be all right as you can see that will do the, the nice little trick oh, there's a snail hello uh, oh, another snail. Oh, another snail. Jeepers, all the snails. So yeah, this will be the little track. And then it goes down here. And then I'll do a loop-de-loop -loop at the end there. And come back. Now, I guess you're probably thinking, how many of these do I have to do? Well, yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. Alright, I'm just going to get back up there and then we'll get into the stats. And we'll talk all the final things. Whew, it's exciting. All right, let's get into these stats. Quickly have a little look. There we go. 309, averaging 606, and <laughs> that's why I stopped, as you can see. That's all right, doesn't matter. Let's jump over to the Garmin. I mean, this run is not to do with anything of the, of the plan really, but <clears throat> hey, it helps add it up, so not too bad. Performance condition, above, nice, that's what I want to hear, and okay, I don't know what, yeah, let's not read into it too much. All right, so that's that, the final, the final run for the plan, and then tomorrow, that's it. That's just, bah! Okay, all right. So, a couple of things you should know. <sighs> pre-race, I would do pre-race jitters run, which is now done. I focus on today, we'll just be resting. I'll probably do another walk today. Uh, probably a good, probably a good hour walk, just to keep everything fresh but I don't want to overdo it um, it might not even be a full hour it might only be 30 minutes but I don't want to you know I don't want to just be sitting all day so I need to keep moving do some stretching some mobility work and just keep everything nice and fluid <sighs> food wise had some pizza last night as per plan uh, just to help with the carb loading I'm not sure on what's happening for dinner tonight yet and then but through the day I'll just be having my normal stuff and smoothie this morning coffee all that jazz thinking I might have a little bit of tailwind today just to get a bit of the nutrient in me but you know that will come tomorrow as well I've got a nice big long checklist of everything I think that I need to do charge this you know check batteries charge my watch headphones everything like not that I have to travel anywhere to go do this I don't have to pack a bag but I'll have everything laid out everything ready to go um, just so when I can wake up in the morning I'll probably be getting up a good hour and a half before I run be having some toast with some honey cup of tea and let it digest move it through the system and then it's go time <laughs> so that's that that's essentially it and I'll probably try and get a nice early sleep just so I can uh, sleep well rest well and get ready usually the night before the race I'm a bit tossing and turning <sighs> all right so that's that <laughs> now the other thing is the game plan. So we've been discussing a few times, we've gone through a few different things, but I want to break it down for you. And this, this is a guideline. This is not what the full shebang will be. Obviously it's going to change a little bit as we go through. This is assuming I'm on time. This is assuming I'm not running faster. This is assuming I'm not running slower. If I get to these <coughs> different points and I'm um, off targets, I'll adjust and keep pushing to get that goal. So, the first two hours, <clears throat> obviously we're running outside of home because of the restriction situation, which means I'm aiming for about 19k <clears throat> to be completed before I have to come down here and start doing repeats. <clears throat> Alright, so that will get us to 19k. I then have to do a total of 58 repeats or 400 meters roughly to get us from the 19 <clears throat> to the 42.2 roughly so it'll be give or take but that that's what we'll be going at I'll be listening to my audiobook and that 
will get us all the way up to 26 Ks. <clears throat> give or take, right? Give or take. You know, depending when I have my drink breaks, I'll probably stop the book, get a drink and stuff. So, yeah. Um, yes, <laughs> that would get us to 26. And then I'll have one and a half hours of music time. So what I'll probably end up doing is I'm going to adjust my playlist, I think, and have 30 minutes of a certain playlist and then the final hour will just be hoorah, like go, 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 let's do it kind of stuff just so I can, uh, you know, really throttle. And <clears throat> that's what I intend to throttle. It'll be, I'll probably want to start for the final 10K I want to throttle. So the final one hour and a half will be 16K, but I'll probably want to start throttling no later than 10k just so I've got a chance to get some real quick ones if I need to slow down I can and then do some final quick ones in the final two as well so <clears throat> the beauty of doing these repeats is you learn to love them and you learn to hate them so though one end one, one end might be a little uphill the other way is a little downhill so it keeps you moving and grooving challenging pushing but what, what's good is you're ticking them off quickly. The thing I hate about, you know, if I was doing the loops out there, they're 5K loops. I'll be doing four times 5K loops to get to that 19K, roughly, give or take. <sighs> Which means <clears throat> they're, they're a bit longer, right? They're a lot longer than 400 meters. 400 meters, you can see them getting done and dusted. You're ticking them off. You're accomplishing quicker. So that's the mentality I'm going with. And that's what I've trained with. So that's what I'm comfortable with. Uh, so that's the that's the game plan. I'm going to put up on screen as well. Well, you would have seen it up on screen while I was talking through it. Just what that kind of looks like. And this is a guideline, right? I mean, <laughs> I don't want to overthink it too much. I probably will on my watch have the estimated time at completion <clears throat> just so I can, you know, monitor it. But I don't want to be playing off that, right? I wanted to be, I want to be just focusing on what I need to be, because the problem with that watch is that that's, that's a linear time. It's as if I'm doing exactly the same pace. I need to be doing around a 6.15 pace average for the whole shebang. Um, that doesn't mean I have to be doing it for the first two hours, right? I can be doing a 6.30 for the first two hours, and then I can be doing it faster for the, for the remaining. So a couple of things there we have to be careful of, because I don't want to overdo it, and I don't want to think that this is I'm running too hard or I need to be running faster and I think that's where it gets a little tricky so I need to be careful of that too. All right, I feel like there was something else I was meant to talk about. We talked about checklists, we talked about the game plan, how I'm feeling, food, all that jazz. We will get to the book for review in a second. No, I, think, I think that's it guys. What comes after this? All right, so <clears throat> this, is, this will be the end of week 20. The marathon video will be separate. So, by the time you're seeing this, I've probably done the marathon. <laughs> so, yay! <laughs> uh, because by the time you've seen this, I've done it. So, I'll be releasing this. So, by the time, actually, of me, talk, this is weird. By the time, I'm talking about this today. My week 19 video comes out today when I'm actually recording this. And then I'll be editing week 20, which I'll try to get out to you as soon as possible next week. And then the marathon will probably come later in the week. Or, <clears throat> yeah, the weekend after. So, it's all a bit rush-rush, but, <clears throat> you know, I want to give it give it the time. One thing that I want to be very clear on is, like, <clears throat> I've got this idea of what I want the marathon video to be like, but the reality is, <laughs> you know, I'm not there to do filming. I'm there to do the run. So, I just want to share that experience, document it with you, and, you know, try and put in as much excitement as possible. But... You know, the focus of the run will be to get the run done. So if I don't get all the shots, if I don't get all the filming, that's okay. There is other people around that might help, but I don't want to put the pressure on them either because I don't want them distracting me. But I'll probably end up doing check-ins every 5K as well. Um, and then in between as, as I feel as I need to. So, yeah. All right, that's, uh, that's that. And then I'm excited for what's to come on the channel after the marathon. But... We will be doing, we'll have the marathon, we'll probably have a bit of recap of the marathon in the series, we'll be getting into some of the analytics, and then we'll be, you know, talking about what's next on the channel too, but that's down the track. All right, let's get into the quick book review or recap or my highlights, takeaways from Sid Arthur. <clears throat> All right, so 
as I mentioned, this book is not really everything that I would usually pick up, pick up off the shelf. However, audio book I'm going to be listening to for the uh, marathon is The Alchemist. And this book has been compared to The Alchemist quite a lot. Um, I mean, it's about a, a, a guy, Sid Arthur, and his journey to find, you know, he's searching for self-realization, for, for purpose, and um, <coughs> his goal is to find serenity that will enable him to defeat fear and experience, um, you know, peace and understand the contrast of life, including joy, sorrow, life in itself, and death. So I don't want to get into it too much just because you probably need to listen to the story and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to obviously, you know, give you, give away the story, but there's some key points that have resonated with me from this book. Three points actually. One was, I've already mentioned it before in one of my other videos, was around the spiraling. Sometimes we feel like we go around in circles and nothing's progressing. And one of the perspectives that was presented in this book was you know, maybe you're not actually going around in circles, but you're going around in a spiral, and the spiral is going up. Now, if that's the case, if you're doing that, that's where the money's at, because you're st yes, you're going around, but it's like, in order to succeed, you need to fail. In order to progress, you need to fall. In order to progress, you need to learn from your mistakes and come back stronger. So going around and around and around, as long as you're going up to your goal, is important, and that's all that matters. I thought that was a great perspective. The second thing, which is almost contradicts that, <laughs> is um, when someone seeks, then it easily happens that his eyes see only the thing that he seeks, and he is able to find nothing, to take in nothing because he always thinks only about the thing he is seeking, because he has one goal, because he is obsessed with his goal. Seeking means having a goal, but finding means being free, being open, having no goal. <laughs> So, you know, sometimes in the pursuit of happiness, in the pursuit for wanting something more, we're too busy focusing on that goal, on seeking, that we might have actually found it and we haven't even realised. And I think this is a very good reflection of this year in itself, is we've had to slow down, we've had to kind of just identify, well, what's important to us? What's, what's priority and what, what, is, what does everything mean to us? And slowing down has enabled us to understand, well, <laughs> Maybe we don't need to be chasing certain things because we don't see the, the point of them anymore. And I think that was quite a, a great contrast or, I mean, sorry, a nice parallel to what's been happening because I've definitely been feeling this as well and there's definitely things where I've realized, well, maybe I've already found what I'm looking for. It's, I just need to, you know, identify that and act it, act on it. And the final point was, I have always believed and I still believe that whatever good or bad fortune may come our way, we can always give it a meaning and transform it into something of value. Once again, I think this is very, very good for the current times, but I mean, this is part of life. It's, it's the journey of life and I mean, that's what the book's about, the guy's life. And, you know, things will come good and bad. And I've, I, I think that kind of sums up this training series quite well, to be honest, is there was ups and downs, there was days where it was tough, there was moments where it was high and going through it all we were able to come through, come out strong and understand the journey was what that mattered and I think as you go through anything finding the silver linings, finding the positives, finding the things that has enabled you to push through those are the things which are the most important and those are the things to you know respect and remember and reflect on because there's been plenty of things that I've reflected on during this period and realized that there's some silver linings. So, all right, so that's the, the takeaways from Siddhartha. It's actually a really good, good novel. I, I highly do recommend it. It's a bit different, probably not for everyone, but then again, I don't really read novels, so I don't have anything to compare it to. Um, my battery is about to die, so I'm rushing off. So that is it, guys. This is the end of the 20-week plan. I just want to say thank you so much for being here. If you've been here for the entire series, it's like, wow, wow, thank you so much. Um, what a journey, eh? We've done it and oh, it's, been, it's been so good. I, I didn't even think about how I was going to wrap this up, but I just want to say thank you to all that's been part of this journey. There's been so many of you um, and of course, this isn't the end of running. <laughs> this is just the end of this journey and we're excited to share what's next as well. Uh, so thank you very much. Really do appreciate it. 
if you think this series is going to be good for someone else i mean this series isn't just about running but it's it's probably a, a little journey in itself of just finding different things and learning new things please share it with someone i really would appreciate that if if there's different areas that you think someone could resonate with or can learn from please do share it it would be greatly appreciated and of course the marathon video will be coming shortly and you'll be able to watch that and see what happens i have no idea yet <laughs> uh, all right so thank you very much um, really do appreciate it. If you haven't hit the subscription button, make sure you do. If you haven't hit that notification bell, ding, 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 you know what to do. Um, but for now, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, do the whole shebang, and hustle. Ciao!